Well, the Arkansas Agriculture Department now sending out a warning after an invasive plant species was spotted in East Arkansas. Yeah, it's called Kogan grass, native to Southeast Asia. It's been in the U.S. for more than 100 years, but in the past decade, it's caused problems by invading and taking over fields in many, many southern states. Five News reporter Bailey Devane has more. Last month, crews discovered a 30-foot wide patch of Kogon grass in West Helena, Arkansas. Crews immediately began removing the plant and doing an extensive search for more in the area. They didn't find any, but there's a chance more could reside in the state. When they invade a new area, they become so dense and so thick that it crowds out every other plant that might have grown there previously. Arkansas agriculture experts say some fields in Mississippi have been overrun by the species, leaving no room for other vegetation local wildlife depend on. They worry the same could happen in the natural state. It's really frightening. As a botanist, I, I want to see a diverse mix of different species in any natural environment. Plus, Kogon grass is highly flammable. If a fire does start in an area where Kogon grass is extensive, um, those fires will burn hotter than they should. So be on the lookout. The Kogon grass key identifier is its fluffy white flower on top of its stem. The leaves can grow to be five feet tall. It can grow anywhere, sun or shade, and spread rapidly. It is one of the most aggressive invaders that we know of. In fact, it's been named the top, one of the top 10 invasive species in the world. Covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. Now, experts say it will take two to three years of treatments to fully rid the Kogan grass from West Helena.